So today is days number 8 through 14 on the Junk Journal January 2023 challenge. When I first got started, I found it a little bit difficult because I hadn't worked on it for a few days. But what I found I was doing was I was going doing a little bit on one page and then sometimes I would move on to the next page or day and then add things so you'll see here as you watch this video what I'm doing and it'll make more sense as you watch it so I will do a voice over here because I uh, need to clarify some things like what am I going to do with this vine? At first, the vine and the flowers made sense together, and then they didn't. So that goes aside. Working on blossom on day eight, of course, you know, I think about flowers. And um, I saw some videos and uh, some view tubes and some um, Instagrams on this day and a lot of them did you know bloom bloom where you planted bloom your life bloom yourself and uh, I don't always like to do what everybody else is doing is you know I like to do my own thing and so I start pulling out the tissue paper and the music and think about how uh, flowers are just so they just bring such joy and it's almost like joy equals music to your heart so joy music color they're all intertwined and when I think about something blossoming I kind of think about that so here here's just um, gluing down some different various pieces to make this page bloom. I have this gold sharpie and I'm trying to decide do I want to write on here so I do a little practice and put that aside because it doesn't seem like it fits and eventually you'll see in the end it doesn't really fit so I come up with another idea as I'm going along and well what happens to me when I start poking through my papers is I take myself in a whole different direction and that's what I did here I was just going to write like bloom on this paper and then I found these other pages and I started tearing them out and gluing them down and bloom seems okay here but not so much in the end it it doesn't fly with me so moving on to page nine the prompt the word is hidden so I think of a pocket when I think of hidden and I think wow everybody's gonna do a pocket I want to do something different but I don't have any ideas for something different so I start I work the pocket in and then I come up with something different I have to try on my papers as we all do we have to test and see what's going to fit, what's not going to fit. And then it comes to me how I'm going to make the word hidden on a page and make it, um, well, unlike anybody else's, it's my own. So this is what I do. I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to make Yes, I will make a pocket out of this, but there's something else I'm going to do with that lady. I was thumbing through my things and I found, you know, all the um, 
the paper dolls and I said, I need to use this because that's part of my quote resolution to try new things. And I don't use those paper dolls very much. I never seem like I can find a spot for them. This was the perfect spot. So this lady is going to be hiding or hidden behind this little door. So of course I have to jazz up her little uh, space that she's going to stand on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just making this simple, a simple little hiding place for her. So after cutting out a few pieces of magazine pages that I just loved, the Lily of the Valley, I put those in the pocket and then I move on to number 10 prompt word is intricate. I looked up the word intricate and it, it talks about many moving parts. And the first thing I thought of was I have to use a brad and I have to make something move and then I decided, no, 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 no. I'm just going to make this page up of many different items. And those different items are gonna, is what's going to make it intricate. At first I thought the doily is intricate because it's pretty. And, and I actually was thinking of just leaving the doily and the flower it's on the bottom but I didn't leave it there so I just started adding a bunch of different layers and that little piece of plastic that you see me using I I'm taking a um, cereal liner that um, a lot of people use for you know lining when you're painting and I cut off a little square to use it to press down the the piece after I glue it so that way my fingers don't get all covered in glue and it doesn't stick to my fingers too and if I could only remember to use it every single time it would be good but the times that I do use it it works out great so it's a little a little um hint for you if you get that I don't want to touch glue feeling which seems to happen when you use it a lot for me anyways so I'm using uh, all the different pieces that just fall out of my avalanche of papers on my desk when I go to look for one thing something falls out and then it ends up being part of my page that's how I sometimes get my uh, pages put together which is good because I'm using up the pages and papers like this for example it just caught my eye it's it was in my little basket and I decided to make it a little cover for the top and then this little diamond glittery thing I wanted that to just pop that's also on the front cover of this uh, junk journal January book so this little bit of uh, paint here and there process that I see people do a lot I don't feel like I have it mastered I don't know I don't have the right feeling but I'm gonna keep trying it to see if it will come out better each time I feel like sometimes I overdo it with the paint and yeah I did overdo it you'll see in just a second and then other times I feel like well that'll work I tried to um, put some, looking back on my prompt again, I tried to put paint uh, here and there and everywhere. I say, hey, you know, here we go. Too much paint on the left-hand side. Then I put some in the front. And, well, I say front. I say that's day eight because that's where we started. And I'm not sure that I 
did this right either, but you know, like my art teacher said, in art, nothing is a mistake. So I'm going with that. And, and this is fun and this is learning and, and having fun with the supplies that I have already. So the stamp caught my eye when I was digging through stuff and wasn't sure what I was going to do with the brick wall, but it started coming to me as I moved along. I put it aside for a little while and, um, I've, I've already gone on to page 11, which is, well, prompt 11, which is pocket. And first I, I wrote on the top, see page eight, because that's where all the pockets are. But I, I wanted to stay true to the prompt page and word and everything. So I decided to make this little flap here a pocket. So it says chapter 12 and I wrote a little note, a happy birthday note to my mother-in-law who is in heaven and stuck that in the pocket. And I wanted to use that viney green again. And I cut out, I fussy cut some roses. And I thought the vine and the roses looked good on this wall. And I'll, I'll continue to fill up that wall. But first I go back to prompt number eight. I found this really beautiful flower when I was thumbing through things and I just had to add it back to blossoms and I covered up bloom and I put decked in blossoms. It just seemed perfect. So I'm trying to finish this up and I'm using, um, trying to use these markers and that jelly, what is it called? It's called I got a pen, Pento brand, and I've got the jelly one that I got from Hobby Lobby, and they're terrible. I don't like them. They're not, I can't work them. Every time I try to work them, they don't come out right. So we went back to this little, very thin uh, liner marker, and I'm just trying to add some little doodles in there, which, again, that's new for me to put in a lot of doodles here and there, because I, I find that I don't really know what I'm doing but I'm trying it anyways okay so now we're going to throwback prompt number 12 and what is this picture a throwback to well for me it's a throwback to when I used to do quilts all the time I that's what I did for the longest time I'm still checking out how to finish page 11 and for throwback on the right where it says the chapel at Wood River, that's my church and that's our old church building. And so I had taken that picture and I figured that would be a good throwback. So moving along to prompt number 13, hobbies. And I'm thinking, well, hobbies mostly is journaling, but I decided really gardening is because that's what I do in the summer. And boy, I wished I could find my uh, bone folder when I needed it, but I didn't. So I did find this cheesecloth and I found a Kate Greenway book. And there's a lady in this picture who's peeling apples. And another hobby for me is cooking. I call it a hobby. I really like to bake and cook. And, and so that, um, that along with gardening. I found this picture in a magazine and I cut it up at first and then I put it back together. It just, yeah, that's what I did. So I'll let you see what I did with this page.
Well, with all my editing, that abrupted, uh, uh, ended abruptly, but I'm going to take you through all the pages now and show you. Here we have um, the pocket. We got day eight flipped over already. And then the hidden pocket for um, hidden and the hidden lady. And then we have the intricate page that has all these moving parts to it, in my opinion. Um, I guess with your eye, that's how they're moving. And then we have um, number 11. And I did the roses. And I did in, in that um, Kate Greenway, it's ring around the rosies, a pocket full of posies. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. Pocket, pocket. But I made that pocket, put my mother-in-law's note in there. And then I decided to, you know, make a little spot there to make a note, make a note under a note, whatever. There's uh, the chapel at Wood River, that picture that I took a while ago. And that's a throwback to 1995 quilts. Not that I made, but I have made many quilts. And that's day 12. And then my hobbies of, um, I do have blackberries in my front yard and I planted a couple of apple trees. And then I wrote in here, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? A she shed, that's what I wished I had. So that, that was put in there. And then um, I am also thinking about um, day 14 from the day, back in the day. Now this is the poem about my little daughter, Jessica, who, when she was little, she's 27 and she is in heaven. And, but when she was little, she used to suck her thumb and twirl her hair into a curl in the middle of her forehead. So that's throwback. And that's January, 2023 days eight through 14. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.